in history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man. Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. I'm at the Dillian White Lucas Brown press conference at the O2. Privileged to say I'm joined by Michael Buffer. How are you, Michael? I'm well, thanks. How about you? Yes, good, man. Just looking forward to Saturday night. Absolutely. A big a fight big, night. A big yeah. card. Anytime we have a fight at the O2, you know it's it should be good. It's it's the big time arena and uh, Dillian headlining here uh, in, in where he's fought many times. So uh, pretty exciting fight. And he's going up against uh, a heck of a fighter and the mm. uh, young man from Perth, Australia, who uh, has the will to win. I did his uh, announced his fight in Russia when he defeated Shigaya for the mm. WBA title. And uh, these are two big heavyweights that can punch. Looking forward, are you, to get back onto the O2? I know you like the O2. I love all the, the O2. Fight the fans here, yeah. come here. It's a great venue. It rocks. It rolls. It's got a, you know, a great vibe to it. And uh, I, I think the O2, uh, the arena in Manchester, is another legendary place that I love to uh, go to. And and it seems now that uh, when AJ fights in uh, Cardiff, just like yeah. Joe Calzaghe used to pack him in, mm. you know, AJ brings that crowd of 75, 80,000 fans. So there's some great venues here in the UK. Yeah, let's move. You mentioned Cardiff. Let's move on to next week. AJ Parker in a massive unification fight in the heavyweight division. You must be that you live for those moments. Yeah, and and the great thing about it is, it puts us one step away, I believe, mm. from having an undisputed champion, and that's what everybody really wants we to see. We haven't had that for ages. Yeah, yeah. we we, we want to see uh, you know uh, one heavyweight world champion, and it just makes the whole sport better. I I, I guess the last. Undisputed champion was Lennox. Yes, that's right. right that's yeah. right. That was Lennox Lewis was last undisputed champion. Um, <clears throat> Deontay Wilder. We just seen him uh, beat Luis Ortiz in a in a in a great fight, um, getting a stoppage. Obviously, pa uh, Joshua can't look past uh, Joseph Parker, but that's the fight I think everyone really does want to see: Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. Yeah. For all um, the belts, potentially. Yeah, for all the belts. Yeah. yeah. But but like I said, we sh we really shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. I, Parker is a hell of a heavyweight and, and, and in my opinion I, I think he's one of these guys who fights to the level of the opponents that he's had so far and then just goes one notch above and he's undefeated um, to do that against AJ you're gonna have to take a huge step mm. above your opponent uh, but uh, he is a type of guy that you know mentally and physically uh, may be the, the, the one to do it. He has a great support system with his family and um, his, uh, uh, he's got that Samoan ancestry that just uh, keeps him focused and, and uh, uh, it's a very interesting young man and a likable person just like AJ. It's, you know, you, you hate to see losers in fights like this, but uh, we'll have one for sure. It's going to be a great fight. Do you think it is Anthony Joshua's toughest test today? No, uh, Klitschko turned out to be, uh, I don't think it was expected to be, but the Klitschko fight turned out to be his toughest test, but of course made him a better fighter, there's no doubt about that. So uh, we're, we're going to see uh, We're going to see a good fight. I, I think Parker is coming here, he's coming here to win. He didn't come here to like, just no, look good. Lie or, down. Or, yeah. yeah. Okay, Michael Buffer, thanks for talking right, to thanks. IFL. Um, I'm sure we'll catch up with you soon. All right. Enjoy, enjoy the fight. Rest of the history. All four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man.